Whoa, the Wednesday light just came on. I gotta dig up the old Crypto Espresso manual to see what it means. Ah, ah, there we go. News! That's right, I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Please keep all arms, legs, and uh, whatever other appendages you have inside of this YouTube video. First up, Dogecoin was upgraded to a full ecosystem on Tuesday with the launch of Dogechain, a layer 2 solution for Dogecoin themed DeFi and NFT. Even though Dogecoin is not built or endorsed by the official Dogecoin founders, traders aped and have bid Doge back into the top 10 by market cap in crypto. Crypto Twitter also seemed to appreciate the launch. The new guidelines about master accounts from the Federal Reserve could see crypto banks like Custodia and Kraken open accounts with the Fed. This would make them almost equal to traditional financial institutions and allow crypto banks to serve crypto and fiat clients. The new Fed guidelines will set up a tiered framework with crypto banks likely to fall into tier 3. Have you ever bought crypto on impulse and sold it at a loss only hours later? Well, know that it happens to the best of us. According to a Financial Times source, this happened to Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky, who reportedly executed trades with Celsius's Bitcoin holdings and, uh, in one instance, bought back at a loss only 24 hours after a trade. However, sources seem to contradict each other over Mashinsky's true influence on Celsius's trading desk. One source did, however, allude to a difficult relationship with a former chief investment officer, Frank Van Etten. Crypto.com received regulatory approval from the FCA, the UK's financial regulator. The decision follows applications to be regulated in Canada and South Korea. The UK is also introducing a new bill to regulate stablecoins, which is to be debated in September. The bill would leave the final decision over whether a stablecoin issuer threatens the country's financial stability to the Bank of England. And finally, they say there's no place like like Brazil, but Brazil is becoming more like other countries when it comes to crypto. BTG Pactual, the country's largest investment bank, launched its crypto trading platform called Mint, giving clients access to Bitcoin and ETH trading. Elsewhere, XP, one of Brazil's main brokerages, launched uh, Xtage, Xtage, I, Xtage, I think that's how you say it. I looked online, I, I couldn't really find anything. So, okay, we'll go with Xtage, a trading platform in cooperation with NASDAQ. With Mercado Pago also planning to dive into crypto soon, Brasilias will have their pick. And you, dear viewer, can have your pick of either liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, or clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. I'm just kidding, you don't have to pick, you can do all three. Your biggest choice, though, is deciding what to write in those comments below. If you feel compelled to give us some feedback, do it, because I read those comments, the good, the bad, and the spam. And speaking of spam, that's Alex's favorite meal. Yes, ask Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and the Metaverse, where it's just like the real world, just more meta. Anyway, again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see all of your beautiful faces tomorrow.